Hey everybody, I went through a quick video on these Tesla superchargers and how they work. You can see that this one, where I'm parked and charging right now, has six charging stations. And if you look closely, they're each numbered. They have a number and a letter. This one's 1A, 2A, 3A, 1B, 2B, and I'm hooked up to 3B over here. The way it works is that if nobody else is here, like right now, I'm going to get full charging power, which is about 300 miles per hour of charge. And unfortunately, these are not six independent chargers from what I've learned. From what I've learned, they're actually three independent chargers because each number is connected to another or each similar number, like both ones here, one A on the right and one B on the left are connected to some similar identical unit that's behind these this big wall here. There's some units back in here. I don't know what they are. Transformers, uh, inverters, whatever they're called. So let's say I'm on, let's, let's go change from one to three. Let's say I'm over here on 3B, which I am, and there's nobody on 3A. So that means I'm getting full power, which is about 300 miles per hour of charge when I'm, my battery's low. And of course, that slows down as your battery gets close to capacity between 75 and 100 percent. You don't get that same charge no matter what. But on the lower end, when it's near empty, up to about three quarters full, you'll get about 300 miles per hour. But if somebody pulls in here on 3A and starts charging while I'm connected to 3B, from what I understand, the charge level actually drops by 50%. So instead of potentially getting 300 miles per hour of charge, you're only gonna get 150 miles per hour of charge. So take note of that when there's more than one person at these superchargers, and make sure when you pull into a supercharger that you don't connect to a supercharger of the same number of somebody else in the same bank of superchargers, if that makes sense. Any questions, just write something in the comment. Anything more you know about this, you know, give me some more comments in there. Uh, this is the, my understanding of it, and it seems to be correct based on my experience. I've plugged into, I don't know, like 40 different times superchargers up and down the East Coast, and I have noticed that this is an issue when there's more than one person at the supercharger if I choose incorrectly and hook up to the, their same number supercharger. Anyway, have a, good, have a great day and, and have fun driving.